What's good YouTube, it's your boy JR back with another video and today we're going to be unboxing the new AirPod Pros second generation. Let's go on and get into it. Uh, a couple new features this time around. We got a new chipset. We got an H2 chipset. They are IPX4 water resistant. This particular case works with a MagSafe charger, Apple Watch charger, and any Qi certified chargers and lightning connector. Uh, battery life on these this time are now up to six hours of listening time on a single charge Five and a half hours of spatial audio and head tracking enabled four and a half hours of talk time on a single charge so with the AirPod Pro Max safe charging case you get up to 30 hours of listening times and up to 24 hours of talk, talk times five minutes in the case will give you an hour of listening time or around an hour of talk time Connectivity this time around is Bluetooth 5.3 wireless technology. So we're going to test that out and see exactly how that sounds. So without further ado, let's go on and get into the unboxing itself. Just taking a look at the box. You can see on the front here, everything pretty much looks the same. Uh, the price on these right here is a solid $250. That's basically what the last set cost. That's what, that's what we're looking at. All right, so back here on the back of the case. AirPods Pro, second generation, also says the same thing in a different language, so let's go on and open this thing up and get into it. Alright, come on. Oh, let's give me some problems here. Don't work with me. Alright, let me back out loud just a little bit here. Right, looking at it in the front here, we got some books, no Apple sticker. That's pretty much just the instructions, stuff that we'll never read. And it's also telling you about different features on it, which also include now the changing the volume by swiping up and down on each stem. I think that's a real good feature, but to be honest, compared to the old AirPod Pros, I don't know I mean I guess the volume thing could work but at the same time I just feel like the stem is a little bit too short for that particular feature maybe if they had it on the outside of the airpod where you could swipe up on the outside then you know that might be a good thing but uh, let's see and then we're talking about the watch charger MagSafe charger where everything just kind of slides in place so we already know how that stuff works so let's go on and finish and unboxing this all right it's pretty let's see what else we got in the box here we'll put that to the side okay got a charger in the box another charger regular cable USB-C to lightning and right here we've got the ear tips we've got an extra set this time around we got large the medium which are already on the airpods you got a small and then you got extra small and so somebody with some extra small ears are going to be extremely happy to have that. Just going to put that aside. That's pretty much everything that's in the box. Okay, so let's go on and finish. Set these things up and get into it. So looking at everything right off the bat, everything looks pretty much the same for the most part. All right. AirPods right here. You got your lanyard clip. It's not even clip, it's just a lanyard loop, so you can loop that in there. Got the new case right here. We got a speaker, extra speakers right here for my Find My. And you open it up, hm. clean looking AirPods. All right, so real quick, just wanted to kind of compare. This is my first set of AirPods right here. Just want a side by side comparison. Only thing that's different is the speakers for the actual case this time. Everything else pretty much looks the same. Even opening, just looking up from the top. Except these sensors right here, they are different. So that's cool. All right, so we're gonna put these aside. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is go on and pair this thing up. So we have the iPhone right here. We're gonna go ahead on and open this up. Make sure y'all can see this good. Show you how quick it is to pair them up. There it goes, that fast. So let's go ahead and hit connect. 
Got some sounds this time coming from the case. Some good indicators right there. All right, so I guess that means that uh, everything is connected. So now we've got some instructions here on the new stuff. And just the volume with the media control by swiping up or swiping down. The force sensor on the stem of your AirPods Pro. All right. You got the noise control. Press and hold either AirPods, which is between noise can cancellation and transparency, which we already know Apple has the best transparency mode on the market. And your control center right here. Press the volume slider up. And uh, this is just basically a tutorial. Everything else is pretty much standard. But if you're new to this, and you, it'd be good for you to see this right here. All right, so we have 61% on the AirPods themselves, 66% on the case, and everything is done. Everything is connected right there so far. So one thing I do like, like I said, uh, when you open the case up, it does give you this little animation. Well, not an animation, but a sound. So I'm gonna open it up real quick. Got nothing. Okay, of course I don't want to work on what I'm trying to show y'all, but I did hear something when I opened the case up. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to go on and put some put these in the ear, show you how they look in your ears, and we're going to do some, uh, some testing so we can kind of get a real feel for how this sounds and everything like that. Let's get into it. Alright, so one thing that I'm going to do right here is right now we're currently having the, okay, this is a new case, <laughs> right now we're currently having the old AirPods. So I'm going to listen to this song right here on the old AirPods, give you my opinion, and then I'm gonna switch over to the new AirPods and see, this is gonna be, you know, my, my first, I guess, experience to see if I can really tell the difference. I'm into music, so hopefully, you know, this translates and I can actually tell the difference. So here we go. Let's turn the volume up. Okay. We already know what the old AirPods sound like, but they still sound good. All right, here, here go the beat. About to drop it. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Okay, so we got a, a pretty good, um, I got a pretty good, you know, baseline about where, where the old AirPods stand. So I'm gonna go ahead on and take these out. And it's pretty even all around, to be honest with you. The highs, mids, lows, all kind of flush together pretty much. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop in the new joints. Yeah. All right, it's kind of tough to get out the first time. Hold on now, let go. All right, going in. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing when I put these in is the noise cancellation is stupid on these. It's stupid. Now, I'm, I'm in a warehouse. I'm currently in a, a room that has like fans going on in the background and I may be able to hear like 2% of noise on the outside. The noise cancellation on this is crazy. So let me go on and uh, run this back real quick. We're going to try this again. Let, let's, let's take a listen. Volume up. Okay. It's a lot clearer. Yeah, these are crispy right here. All right, here go the beat. Oh yeah. Hey. That bass beat drop, boy. And the teeth. Okay. Hold on, two more seconds. Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to cut that off. Yeah. So, right off the rip, I'm going to tell you. The clarity on these joints is, is stupid. The clarity is crazy. And the noise cancellation. Okay, let me, let me switch back real quick. All right, one second. Because one thing I didn't do, I didn't compare the noise cancellation on the first set. Alright, let me put this first set back in. What are we on? Okay, so... Let's make sure, okay, we're on noise cancellation. Alright, so I'm listening to the noise cancellation. 
I mean, it, and it does cancel the noise out. It does. All right, so now let me go and switch over back over to the new ones. All right. Yeah, the, this, the noise cancellation on the new ones is, is totally, is totally different. Me personally, I, I really, I really, really like the fact that the noise cancellation is better on these um, because it, it's just like I work out in the gym a lot almost every day. I don't use the use AirPods in particular. I use the uh, Beats Fits Pros and the noise cancellation on those are okay, but I can still hear a lot, a lot of noise. Honestly, sometimes I'm, I'm in the gym and well, I have noise cancellation on, but it still kind of sounds like it's on transparency mode. And then I realized, oh, this is, this is it. That, that's noise cancellation. But this right here, you can really tell the difference. I mean, it blocks out a lot of the sound. I can still hear my voice pretty well, but you can definitely tell like it's a lot more noise cancellation. So I'm excited to try these out in the gym. Let me switch over to transparency real quick. Oh man, I call it opening the door. It sounds like, like you're opening the door. And then if you don't want to be bothered and you switch it over to noise cancellation. Yeah, that's, that sounds crazy. That's crazy. It's just like closing the door. It's like I'm by myself. Now I can focus. Okay, so one other thing I want to try. I'm going to put this volume down. We're going to play and then we're going to try out the volume real quick. Okay. I was about to turn up my hand. Hold on. Let me try out the stem. Okay. So going up, you got like a little click to let you know that you're actually going up in small increments like you saw on the bar. And I'm gonna try it on the left one going down. Okay, that's that's not a bad feature. And it works a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna work too. So that's that's dope. I like that. Play and pause works. Taking one out, inner detection, that works good. Okay. Alright, so here's a picture. Let me go and stop this real quick. <laughs> go on pause. Alright, here we go. Let me take these out real quick. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you a picture of what they look like in your ears. But we already know, AirPods, you know, pretty much the same all the way around. Everything pretty much looks the same. Okay, so overall, my first impressions of the AirPod Pros is I think that they sound absolutely great for AirPods that's coming from 2019, well, with the same hardware and software, well, same hardware from 2019 uh, coming to the 2022 version. I think it's a great improvement, man. The, the chipset sounds really good. The, the sounds, man, they sound so, so clear. Uh, the volume, being able to swipe with the volume, that's a dope feature right there. The noise cancellation. I'm pretty big on that, man, especially when I'm working out in the gym. So I think that sounds really good. And I think people who love noise cancellation are really going to love and enjoy that feature. And that app will change it up. Now, I will say as far as the price is concerned, Apple did it on that one, man. This has probably got to be one of the, out of all the things that they've come out with this, uh, this year, I think that the AirPods Pro 2 or second generation is probably the... I want to say the second best new product that they came out with so far. The first being the Apple Watch Ultra, which I do have coming. I'm going to be honest, I I got caught slipping on the, on the order, so it's not going to be here till like November. But you all will get my thoughts on that too when that comes in. Uh, November 4th, that's when it's supposed to be here. Uh, but as far as the products are concerned, I think that the AirPods, those coming out, I think those are probably the second best thing that they came out with. The phone is great too, don't get me wrong, but I think as far as, I think as far as like differences and just like up in the game, I feel like Apple really did it with these AirPods. Price being the same, that's great. Um, and luckily, you know, they are available and not selling out crazy quick because people are underestimating, you know, the sound and everything. Now, if you don't have AirPods at all, if you have any other type of earbuds, whether Galaxy Buds or Sony's or I, I don't know, Google, you know, Pixel Buds or whatever. If you have an iOS device, even if you don't have an iOS device, you want these. Trust me, you will not be wasting your money. Now, if you already have the AirPods, the first generation, and you go into the second generation, 
I, I would say it's not like a crazy, it's not like a crazy, crazy, crazy upgrade. It's not like a dire necessity. But if you have, let's say if this, if this is the same pair of AirPods that you've had the first time, from the first time around, if this is the same pair of AirPods that you've had from the first time around, you're gonna wanna upgrade because they've come out with a new chipset, new technology, and they just improved on the sound so, so much. So overall, I think that anyone that you know uses earbuds, I think that you will definitely benefit from having these. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and cop these. And uh, let's see, oh, one more thing, I almost forgot. So when you get your AirPods, you're definitely gonna want a case. This right here has been my go-to case for years. Ever since I've had AirPods, I stand by this case. I think I've broken the loop on this one time because I was, I don't know, I was just a little rough with it or something like that. But this case is a catalyst case. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get, get this too. But uh, it's protecting my AirPods the entire time. The only thing about it, now Catalyst, if you happen to see this video, <laughs> need to go on up, update it because this particular case right here, I mean, they do fit in, but as far as the Find My, it covers that. So the speakers and the lanyard part, it will cover that. But I mean, it, it does still work. It still, it still fits in there. You can get them out like you need to. And I usually keep this on my keys anyway, so that's good. But um, if you just need a really good case right now, this is the case to get. It's a callus case, a rubber case. Put it on your keychain, put it on your bag, whatever. It's gonna be perfect for you. So let's go and get out of here. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and get this. If this is your first time at the channel and you like the video, please hit the like button. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Until next time, peace.